they bleed for the company. Black and referee Luna Shin. I got a little passionate earlier, but I'm trying to run a fair show here. Why do we keep our show going? Uh, real quick, while we're waiting on our next thing up, don't forget to check us out on social media YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok while it's still around. <laughs> Gentlemen, we have your King of the Canvas champion, hashtag perfection, the undisputed King of the Canvas champion after last month's show here at Revive Force of July, Andrew Thomas. Les, what is there to even be said about this bravado? Uh, he's definitely, uh, in other words, cocky, you want to say. Uh, he has this uh, presence, this swagger about him that he just believes he's the best, he's on top, and no one can touch him. He pinned uh, Draven Lee last month to become the undisputed King of the Canvas champion, and let's see uh, what he's going to bring to us tonight in his matchup against Alex Kane. We're still hearing remnants of uh, him declaring himself the king. The crowd here in Centerville, Tennessee has declared him the Burger King, and they are still holding him to it. I mean, that crown is very, very similar to the Burger King crown. Crowd fills with abuse. Too pleased with the Burger King. I actually have some sources. We saw him polishing off a couple whoppers a couple hours before the show. He had white stuff all over his face, but that's a whole different story. That vegan mayo. Burger King special sauce. We weren't lying. Sounds like they think he is the Burger King. Is that whose music I think it is? That sounds like the one and only Suplex Assassin. It's an unmistakable song. I think he has a challenger, Wes. So there will be a title match tonight. Hopefully. I don't think he has the choice to back down. 
coming straight out the suplex island. Alex K showing up to take the Burger King to task, it would seem. The Burger King does not want to end up stranded on Suplex Island, that's for damn sure. I do not think as he is prepared for this matchup. I don't think they keep special sauce on Suplex Island. Nah, that's sauce free, baby. Oh. A little harsh there. I want to see one too, so. The fans seem pretty excited. They, I think they know what they want. So we are going to get that title match whether Mr. Hashtag Perfection likes it or not. Rich Black out here laying the law down, making a lot of great decisions in the favor of the Ride Pro Wrestling crowd tonight. fans want to see it I want to see it do you want to see it I would love to see it but it looks like uh, it looks like Andrew Thomas might be a little frightful of the suplex assassin Alex Kane and to be honest with you Wes I might be too I personally would not want to take on the suplex assassin but I'm not a wrestler that's why I'm on the commentary booth I don't think Andrew Thomas was prepared for a matchup like this. That's a very bold claim. Very bold claim. I don't know about you, Wes. Alex Kane looks more ready for this opportunity right now than we've seen him yet at Revive Pro Wrestling. He's in prime shape. It looks to me like he's ready to eat Andrew Thomas a lot. Yeah, we know he's been hitting the gym and training really hard during this quarantine, getting ready, getting in shape, getting the best shape of his life to take out Mr. Thomas, who... He's probably, Alex Kane's probably not eating much Burger King. He's got nothing uh, out there. Probably just steaks and weights in his diet. Yeah, sale on his trunks. If this is Andrew Thomas's final form, I don't think his final form is good enough for Alex Kane. His final form is a little chicken fingers -y. For the King of the Canvas Championship, officially made official just now by Mr. Rich Black. This is new. The referee check the uh, check the participants here. Make sure they're ready before we roll. 
Luna Shipley not going to let anything happen in this match. Going to call it right down the middle. Seems a little bit easier with the suplex assassin than it does Mr. Hashtag Perfection. He seems like he might have some, uh, some tricks up the sleeve there. Maybe a little special sauce, if you know what I mean. Yeah, some ketchup packets sitting in there or something. I'll make that joke 18 times, I don't care. The determination on Alex Kane's face, I don't think even cheating is going to be able to stop this man right now. The brand new Tin Bell Revive Pro Wrestling this evening. The suplex assassin Alex Kane. Flexing on him big time. Kane just has future written all over him. And they start the collar elbow tie up, and he is too much power for Andrew Thomas. Flexing them guns. Showing him what a man looks like. Looks like hashtag perfection is flexing them chicken crown nuggets. <laughs> Talk about a bird chest. And they lock up once more. And yet again, no control from Andrew Thomas. All power from Alex Kane. It seems to me like the Burger King did not come in ready for this challenge. Yeah, he definitely should have only had one whopper and not went for the two for five deal today. It looks to me like this crowd has kind of picked up on hashtag perfection and lack, uh, lack of anticipation for this fight this evening. And oh, he did not let him get that. Straight to the stomach and a double axe hammer to the back of the back. No matter what anybody wants to say about hashtag perfection Andrew Thomas, one thing that you have to recognize, he does have that ability to wear his aura well. He knows where he's standing in the ring. Very aware of where he's at and how to use it. He definitely knows he knows his game and knows how to get under his opponent's skin and knows exactly what he's doing. I also feel as though he knows what he doesn't know. He knows that he is going to get overpowered by Alex Kane. He knows he is going to Great get hip toss. Fantastic hip toss. And that bleeds to the point. He's going to get outmaneuvered by Alex Kane. It's a wonderful splash into the corner. Very reminiscent of the stinger. Look at the rope through. With a low super kick right to the head. Of course the fans. Of course they want to see something cool. He may be making a mistake playing to the fans against Andrew Thomas right now, though. Off the second rope with the reversal. Knees to the stomach. We know that takes the win right out if you've been hitting the stomach that hard. It's exactly the kind of opportunity that you cannot give a guy like Andrew Thomas. What he may lack in conditioning, what he may lack in the technical savvy, he knows all of these veteran outlets and how to steal yeah. them no matter what. Ooh, devastating belly-to-belly -belly suplex on Andrew Thomas. Flexing on the little boy out here. Alice Kane has this explosive power that's very difficult to come back from. Look at Andrew Thomas, and look I at him. He's coming belt. back, trying to get his belt. Uh, trying to take the cheap way out here in front of this crowd. Oh. Not only is the suplex assassin not having it, but this crowd here in Centerville, Tennessee is not having it either. Definitely not going to let him take the easy way out and walk away. He's going to continue this matchup because he wants that title. He needs that title. It's a unique opportunity for a guy like Alex Kane, to be honest, Wes, because you know he came out here, demanded his opportunity. This is not a thing that was set up. This is not a thing that Andrew Thomas was prepared for. Andrew Thomas just won this title last month, and it seems like he's kind of rested on his laurels a little bit with it. This could be a very unique opportunity for a guy like Alex Kane to jump straight to the top of the ranks, and Kane the canvas, it has to put you in direct contention for the world title. I would have to say so, and during this whole pandemic uh, time, 
you know, Mr. Andrew Thomas got the title. But, you know, he's probably, I want to say, relaxed because there's not as many defenses coming up because it's, you know, harder to run shows these days. But uh, I don't think uh, that's the right thing to do. And I think Alex Kane the whole time has been in the opposite mode, training, grinding, getting his body into better shape, learning all of his newest, best, most devastating suplexes that we probably haven't even seen yet because he is in it to win it. And he's he's just on the grind. And Mr. Thomas is just has a lackadaisical attitude when it comes to this championship. It seems what we're talking about is a fundamental difference of technique. They don't call Alex Payne the suplex assassin for zero reason. They call him that because he has this adaptation of wrestling knowledge. However, Andrew Thomas, I hate to say it, but he has earned his he's out in his own way. His own means, his own method. Just like that, he took that from the rope all the way to the four count to the last second of getting disqualified. He knows how to use his tools to his advantage. Hung up right in the neck, over the rope, outside the ring. You combine a move like that with the kind of power that Kane has behind him, and I, you know, one wrong thing, Andrew Thomas is done for, and that title goes away. Shipley keeping great control over this match. She is not having any of the shenanigans from Andrew Thomas tonight. Mr. Kane gaining some momentum. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, and he counters the suplex attempt. We talk about the ring awareness. Andrew Thomas is proving some things to us too right now. Picture perfect body slam. What a cocky pin for Andrew Thomas. Obviously, that's not going to get you the win. He's just trying to pander to the crowd, which uh, might come back to haunt him in the end. Wasting time right now, just wasting time. Pandering to the crowd is one thing when you're a babyface. Yes, maybe sometimes that is not wise. But as much as they hate hashtag perfection, Andrew Thomas. It just seems even less. Ooh, right where the sun don't shine. Definitely not king of the baby maker. Ooh, good right hand, stiff right hand. I wouldn't want to be in Andrew Thomas's position against a suplex assassin right now. They're gonna take it all the way. Superplex! Absolutely. Devastating superplex from the top row. Thomas is twitching a little bit. But that move took so much out of Kane, I don't think he's going to be able to make the cover. Referee Luna Shipley again in great control, taking care of this count right now. That move looks like it equally took a lot out of both of them. Who is going to be able to make it to their feet first and take control? The crowd's behind Kane, but... Thomas looks like he's rallying as well. Again, he's not here for zero reason. Stiff shots from both competitors, and another one. Just trading shots back and forth. Right hand after right hand, and another stiff one. How many forearms can you take? Devastating lariat. 3rd time's the charm. Nope. Reverses. Ooh, knee right to the face. Precision knee by Andrew Thomas. Ooh, knee to the gut. Ooh. Disaster kick by Andrew Thomas. I'm not sure that he got it the entire way, but after those knees. Oh, Alex Kane. Very close two count. Very close. If he would have got all that disaster kick, it might have been three, but I feel like he was mere inches away, and after those kicks and the momentum, you know, it's any given moment now. He needs to be watching out for that finisher, the mark of Kane, which could strike at any moment. You can't count a guy like Alex Kane out, but at the same time, Andrew Thomas seems to have the upper hand. Pulling his knee pad down, getting real serious right now. 
Side steps. Oh, German suplex. And he holds on. Holds on. And he goes for a second one. Two good turns deserve another, Wes. And uh, the three amigos. Uh-oh. Straps down means it ain't no games no more. It's all serious. No. I don't know. Second Top row. Rope is Second row frog splash. And a kick out at two. Andrew Thomas proving once again he has that ability to dig deep down and dig himself out of the rut when it comes to this. Three devastating German suplexes from the suplex assassin himself, and he is still hanging on. One thing he definitely doesn't lack is fighting spirit. Maybe taking advantage of the Oh, with a cheap, cheap shot that the ref had no clue because he was using those masterful tactics that he's... I'll tell you though, oh, a win's a win. Oh, knee to the back of the head. With a shining lizard type. Shasta style strike. And that looks to be... it. One, two, three, and he retains. The fans are uh, not too happy about this one. Once again, Andrew Thomas proving he didn't come by this championship on accident. In his own bastardized way, he earned his way here. And I got to say, Wes, a win is a win is a win is a win. Exactly. I mean, there's no asterisk on that win. It's, it's a win. What I don't want to imagine is how the Burger King celebrates such a win. I've always heard he's a big fan of that two for five, but uh, I guess we'll have to see. One thing that we all have to acknowledge right now, though, the suplex assassin, Alex Kane, had such a fantastic showing tonight. He definitely put on a valiant effort, and he came out and he demanded that shot. He got it, and it was a very strong showing. I'm sure he'll be in contention again soon, but you cannot take away the fact Andrew Thomas comes away with the king of the canvas title. He did retain. He's not a, not a fan favorite. No one seems to like him, but he is your king of the canvas championship. Still the king of the canvas champion. I don't think hashtag perfection is going to be selling a lot of merchandise to these Centerville, Tennessee fans here at the stables. Uh, he might sell a sticker if he's lucky. So they can put it in a toilet. Nothing quite like seeing such a proud winner and a proud champion, though. He carries that belt with pride. He won it so bad, he originally stole it before he won it, so he's definitely in there. Dancing, feeling good, feeling the vibe, feeling the flow. There's simply no holding it down. 